Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Aman Shah, and I'm delighted to have Dr. Michael Lim from the Johns Hopkins here with us today. Uh, Dr. Lim specializes in uh, immunotherapy. Uh, welcome, Dr. Lim. Thank you. Happy to be here. So, I had a very specific question for you, uh, Dr. Lim. Uh, we have had somewhat disappointing results with immunotherapy. Could you give us your best take on why this is and what may be going on in the background? Right. So I think for immunotherapy for glioblastomas, it has been disappointing to date. And, you know, we had hoped uh, that we would see similar results to the other solid tumors when we embarked down these checkpoint molecule uh, therapies. And right now, you know, I think we're still w awaiting the reads of the, the newly diagnosed. Um, and, and there's some uh, other studies that have been published recently that suggest that there may be some tumors that respond to PD-1. But I think as we started looking at glioblastomas, um, it, and, you know, together, if you look at the entire field, we've come to understand that there's these categories of tumors that are called hot and cold. Um, hot tumors are the ones that are responding to immunotherapy, such as the melanomas, the, the lung cancers, the head and neck cancers. Um, but we've also come to realize that it's not just glioblastomas that haven't responded, but you know, prostate cancer and pancreatic cancer that haven't responded. And so, you know, if you look at glioblastoma and just look at the glioblastoma under a microscope slide, what you've come to under appreciate, or you know, what my pathologists and uh, many people have come to appreciate is the fact that there are um, very few T cells in the gliomas and a lot more myeloid cells, which are macrophages, microglia, dendritic cells. And so if there's a predominance of those cells and very few T cells, it suggests that maybe we should be focusing on those cells. And over time, if you, um, you know, as, as we started looking at the, um, these myeloid cells, We've come to appreciate the fact that they're incredibly um, immunosuppressive, but not immunosuppressive locally only, but also immunosuppressive globally. And so, you know, over the past few years, there, you know, our lab and many other, and several other labs have shown that um, there's this global immunosuppression that's going on. Um, so, could you tell us a little bit more about what you mean by global immunosuppression? Right. Uh, I'd like to understand that a little right. better. So, you know, an example is, um, for example, um, uh, Christopher Jackson, who was in my lab, did these interesting experiments where he took um, tumor cells and in one set of mice put them in the brain and in another set of mice put them in the flank, in the back of a mouse, okay? And um, there, there's these antigen-specific T cells, T cells that have specifically recognized these, these tumor cells. And when you uh, transferred them into the mice with, you know, in both sets of mice, it turns out that the mice that had the brain tumors were actively deleting those T cells and actually shut them off. They couldn't, they couldn't kill. But if you looked at the mice that had the, t uh, the tumors in the flank, those T cells were still alive and could actively kill. And you know, at that time we had made this conclusion that perhaps this is an explanation as to why people who have stage four cancers, like, you know, lung cancers and melanomas, and um, did so much more poorly because the immune system was suppressed. Um, and then there was an, uh, a recent paper in Nature Medicine by Dr. Fecci who showed that um, there's actually sequestration of those T cells into the bone marrow. So, you know, if you had a tumor in the brain, they looked at patients with glioblastoma, those T cells were actually going into the bone marrow and out of the bloodstream. And they then looked in animals and they looked at other met metastases. We, looked for, we, did, we had looked at melanoma, for example, but they looked at breast cancer and other types of cancers. And again, this phenomenon uh, came about again. And so not only were the T cells being actively deleted and being shut off, but now those T cells were being trafficked away. And um, you know, another study by Dr. Block, uh, Warren Block at Northwestern, took patients with glioblastoma, took the blood of patients with glioblastoma and looked at the circulating macrophages, and they were expressing PD-L1. And when they were expressing PD-L1, when you co-cultured their cells with the T cells, the patients, owned, those T cells were shut off. So the entire immune system looks like it's being 
um, affected. Okay. And you know, for example, uh, they also show that the spleens are smaller. That suggests the T cells are being deleted. Um, it's it's a very profound amount of immunosuppression. And you know, when we had started looking into the mechanisms as to why this was going on, one of the things that we found was something called TGF beta, which is you know, in a bigger picture, it's a myeloid secreted cytokine. So we think these myeloid cells are probably central and instrumental in causing all of this global immunosuppression. And so we need to think about this factor in our immunotherapy strategies. Um, it's like another layer of complexity when we're designing immunotherapy compared to other types of immunotherapy. That, that sounds like quite the critical observation. Now, I, I, is this something that also happens in pancreatic cancer or and prostate cancer, for example, or is it a different mechanism over there why PD-1s don't work as much? Well, um, we, you know, we haven't looked at pancreatic cancer and okay. prostate cancer. Um, we think that the milieu of the brain and the microglia make it a little bit more unique in this global immunosuppression, but um, you know, I think that it's probably something that is actively being studied in those cancers. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I thought that was uh, very insightful and potentially very important on the road. Appreciate it. Thank you.